players, who stands out to you? Mike Evans is an absolute monster at the strong safety position. We are playing Madden Ultimate Team salary cap. That is why you see him play on the defensive side of the ball. It all starts with Joey Bosa, though. If Joey Bosa can wreak havoc on the uh, little man's offense, Skimbo's going to have a great chance of winning, and we all know about Skimbo's offense, and if you don't know, I'll tell you right now, it is one of the best you'll ever see in competitive Madden play. His command and control over his offense is the best in the world. And if you don't know, now you know Little Man. He's been around forever, Gibbs. You might have heard him in the earlier games. This is one of the most emotional, passionate players. Didn't have a great showing at the Classic. What do you think he can do here? Well, he has to be able to play up-tempo with Skimbo, and if there's anyone that can, it is Little Man. He has been on this road, this competitive Madden road, for over a decade, and he is one of the front runners in his mind that he can compete and win this tournament. He's consistently played the best. Here's his lineup. It actually looks exactly like jokes because it's a replica. <laughs> take a look. You got Night Train Lane, Deion Sanders. They're going to have to patrol and take care of Moss on the opposite side of the ball. And then I really like the Jerry Rice at wide receiver. This is an underrated item. The GOAT day right now. You got a GOAT on your offense with uh, Jerry Rice. And then to round it out, Randy Moss and Donovan McNabb. This McNabb has been the staple of a lot of offenses we've seen here for good reason. He makes all the throws and has all that speed with his legs. Thinking back to the challenge for Skimbo, he's yet to take the belt home, but he has looked great all season long, the most com uh, consistent competitor. Gibbs, looking at the scouting report here, what do you think these guys got to do? For Skimbo, I want to see him finish. I want to see him play like a champion. He has an opportunity here. He's been playing phenomenally from a competitive angle. His preparation coming into this tournament has been bar none as well. He needs to play and act like a champion to get this done. Huge help from our friends at Xbox. What's the scouting report on Little Man? We said he's been doing it for a long time. Uh, this is someone that you can't really sleep on here, okay? Little Man has been playing competitive Madden at a very high level for a very long time. He deserves to be here. This is his chance. This is an opportunity. We've talked a lot about Los and welcoming him back to competitive scene. Well, I want to welcome back Little Man. He deserves the recognition. He's one of the greatest competitive Madden players of all time, and he's got an opportunity to try and win a championship here. Well, one person or multiple people that don't think Little Man can win is America. He is a underdog heavily in the poll. 91% think the number one player, Skimbo, will win this game. But on any given Friday, you don't know what you're going to see. We've already seen three higher seeds That's win blowing. today. That, that, I mean, that really is mind-blowing. When you, when you really think and break that down, right, like all the competitive games we've called and seen over the years, right, like you really don't anticipate the underdog winning that often like that. So it's been one of the biggest shocking and surprising things of this tournament thus far for me. First down, Little Man gets the ball, goes underneath Gibbs. These guys could actually change their lineups between group stage and the single elimination. Let's look and see how that plays coming into this game, because Little Man made a couple changes. And oftentimes, back at the Madden Bowl, players that made most changes did not have success. Skimbo, rock solid. Second and three, McNabb goes to the outside, and Little Man's got it going early. Yeah, and you can see Little Man Moving the ball very well here, and he's got his he's got Beast Mode Mac. He's got Joke in the crowd rooting for him with the Thunder Sticks, just like Little Man was earlier in the day. First and ten, he's already at midfield early. Skimbo in a like cover two D. Changing up his formations here, back and forth. Right, you don't see that too often. I like it. It's like a little trips tight end. The handoff to the middle, door set. You like him, kept it in the middle rather than banging it off the left. You, you could have banged that off that left edge there. A lot of running room. Usually that's where guys want to take it, but a lot of running space in that interior part of the field. So great call on that. Good recognition there. I get paid you homage for the first time of the day. So I'll take it. I'll take it, man. Skimbo, a buzzsaw. I, play, I played Madden last year, so I know a little bit about the inside <laughs> zone, as they say. But off the edge, cuts it back up the middle again in Dorset. He says if they catch Skimbo in this defense, they think they can run on it. It's the DB Fire 2 press. Yeah, DB Fire 2 press sends pressure off the edge, but where it can be weak is in the interior part of the field, especially with those two high safeties playing so far back. You can see him right there. Very high back. Skimbo bringing him up, though, so good, good recognition. Trying to get those safeties involved. Little man looking to the corner, throws it and it is caught for the touchdown. That's the GOAT, Jerry Rice. I mean, wow. I mean, let's talk about a statement drive. You have Little Man here competing and playing against Skimbo, the number one ranked player in the world. The number one scoring offense from the group stage heading into this tournament. 38 points a game. Little Man comes right out the gate, puts up seven. 
And take a look at this. Great corner pattern, one-on-one -on, -one on the safety. He throws it where only the receiver can catch it. A little bit to the left towards that back end zone. All Skimbo can do is shake his head and, all right, let's go. We got a ball game. Five plays, 74 yards. Now, we just watched Joke in our last game. He's an EMB guy. And now you've got Little Man stepping up. Joke, before the tournament started, said, I would not lose to Skimbo. He only runs so few plays. I would not let him beat me. It's way harder with those it's, but, it, but it's way harder than that. I mean, you get into the heat of the moment. Skimbo makes everything look the same. Even though he runs very few plays, he makes them all look the same, and you, it's very difficult to get a, a, a read on where you should make your user play, right? Like, so think about it, right? If he runs that Z spot, and we're going to see him run that from time to time in this in this game, you got to watch that isolated receiver. He'll make the rest of the routes on that play look exactly the same as if he's running corner strike or verticals, right? So that's what makes him so difficult to defend against. Pressure comes off the right edge. He gets the ball out to the flat. Night train lane can't deliver a hit stick, but does stop the carrier, Jimmy Graham, short of the line. And now a third and three for Skimbo. That double edge side over here. Take a look at that. Two, two players are going to blitz off that left edge. And he goes to Williams, who grabs it and moves forward. Now, the last time we saw Skimbo lose was at the challenge to Beast Mode Mac. That was in the championship. He's an EMB guy. What Time adjustments possession. did he make? It was just a possession it, yeah, game? It, it was a possession issue for, for Skimbo in that game. A lot of clock was eaten up by Beastmo Mac. Skim, uh, Skimbo, he never really got into the rhythm of it. Like, I really break that game down. <laughs> like, all j go, joking aside with the Giants and Patriots, like, think of when Tom Brady comes out and he's like, oh, we're only going to score 17 points, that first Super Bowl against the Giants. Sort of felt like that when we got into that game with Beastmo Mac and Skimbo at the Madden Challenge. Skimbo never really had a great chance to get his offense going, right? Five it, sacks. Five sacks and, and a couple swerves from Beast Mode, keep him off balance. And, and that's, I mean, listen, that's how you got to get the job done when you're playing, you know, if you're a little man, you play a guy like Skimbo, you got to keep him off balance, take advantage of, of uh, turnovers. Look, Little Man's played the best. He's faced Problem multiple times. Problem will be in action later tonight. He did lose to Problem 20 to 6 in the group stage. That was his only defeat. Not a bad loss. Though, able right? to beat Scheming and Drag. Not a bad guy to lose to if you're going to lose to someone. You'll take it's it. It's his problem. But You'll take it. He's playing well. Right now, Skimbo doing a good job checking underneath, taking all these underneath patterns, hopefully trying to open up a deeper route behind it. Third and one. Ricky Williams, the selection in the backfield, the short drag across to Graham, and a quick read, hot one. I'll tell you what I love right now, what I'm seeing right here. You're seeing Little Man getting a, a, a user press on the inside bunch receivers. That's going to delay a, a streak over the middle, a slant. Here you see, he gets his user defender right here, look, right here, in that area, and he's, he's going to user press the, those, def those receivers right there, one of them. Take a look, you'll see it. Snap no, the ball, the middle. you see him. Get out to the edge. Moss for Little Man. He came out to the first event of the year, the Madden Classic. He played Estello. He was winning the game. He went to kick a field goal to take the lead before the half, and it got blocked. And from that moment, he said he checked out of that event. Yeah, and you remember after that event ended, right? We uh, go have a family dinner over at the Daily Grill. Oh, yeah, baby, Daily Grill. All the cops out. Oh, the, the Daily Grind. And, uh, you know, talking, you and I, we were, had a conversation with him. And he looked at us, he said, I'll be back. I'll be back. And, and a lot of times in the situations, will they be back? It's, it's sad. But he's back. Sometimes. And that is an impressive feat by this young man. Third and three. Ricky Williams gets dragged down. Gibbs. We got our first compelling situation here. One more. I said, Little Man, you admitted that you took yourself out of the game. You just watched your guy Joke go 3-0 and and say, I kept everything in check. His own mental pretzel. You're, really. using, you're going with Joke's team. What can you do? Let's talk about it after this fourth quick streak. three. Quick streak. Give me a quick streak there, quick drag over the middle. Johnson. Graham. There's the drag. Goes underneath, but the hit is delivered. But he has the first down. Novocaine. It's Novocaine. Give it time. Always works. Give it time. Works every time. I mean, simple, right? You, you have to you have to respect that vertical. You saw that's where he went. The user went was little man went to the vertical, and the drag is just so good. It's always open. So in a short conversion like that, great play. He's making him work for his yards. Takes the flat. He's delivering a lot of hits. Aaron Rodgers seven for eight. I said, little man. We talked to him yesterday. He said, I have all the X's and O's. And then I said, Can you keep your emotions in check? And he goes, I was like, It worked for a joke. And he's like. 
I don't think so. <laughs> and I'm like, you're telling me you can't, but you don't even know yet. He like, also said he was going to get 20,000 sacks. I know that's a, that was a bold statement, but I mean, that's how confident he is. Another hit stick here. Night Train Careful, Lane flat. gives. They're starting to add up. Eight out of nine. And here's the thing. You got Night Train Lane in one flat on Little Man's defense, and then you got Jalen Big Boy Ramsey on the other side. So those are some guys that can lay some lumber sticks on you in the short flat. So you got to be very careful. Listen, you, 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 you hear the what adage in, in football when they're talking on Sundays, like, oh, hits add up. They don't necessarily add up in a game of, of Madden like this, but over time, if you get 20 big hits in the flat, like, you are increasing your chances uh, of a big-time hit. Third and one. Hands off. Ricky Williams. That's just all Ricky. Run, Ricky, run for the first. I mean, if, you, if you're a little man, though, this is the, te the tempo you want to play in this game, right? Let's see the number of points you got a game for Skimbo, right? He, he's going with 38 points a game, and right now he's scoreless. Be almost, almost to get in the hands on the football, Gibbs. You said it, 38.6. It's the first overall number one, just like his rank. He beat Killer Mike 34-3. <laughs> he scored 48 on Sirius Mo. Almost a 50 burger. And he put another 34 on Canes. Everyone knows what this guy's running, but his adjustments, his reads, everything, too crisp. And now he's got Ricky Williams to the edge for the first down. I like that he's mixing in the run game, not being too one-dimensional here. Right now you're seeing five rushes with Ricky Williams. He doesn't have a ton of yards on the ground, but he's getting manageable uh, conversions. We've seen him go for a third and short, pick up the run. I like that run there for another first down. Right there, great play selections from Skimbo so far. Very balanced early on in this one. Go watch the Skimbo. Skimbo right there, Moss, Randy that's the guy. Moss Kobe. to the corner, two, Ooh. drop. Night Train Lane stripped it out. Skimbo, a little head shake. You don't think he's gonna do that again? Oh, he's definitely gonna do that again. We saw Bugs, his guy, throw that route and then throw the inside route for the win with minimal time left. Underneath. Uh -oh, careful there. Uh, for those of you at home too, right, you're gonna face this tactic. I mean, you're gonna see it time and time again. Right? I'm gonna start doing it when I get home, so. Defensively, really, the best thing you can do to help defend this area is you put two defenders over in that area. You want a one defender in a hard flat that plays over on that right sideline over here, and then you want one that plays back, right? Because Skimbo, his, he's looking over here. He wants that whole right side of the field. Underneath, the pressure gets in on third and five. I was picked, dog. I was picked, dog. Little man telling me he thought he had a pick. Let's see across the middle. What did you see here? Good pressure off the edge. Harrison Smith, just no time to get rid of the ball. And Skimbo's going to take the points wisely here. Joke trying to entice Skimbo to go for it. Doesn't go. Now it's 7-3. You saw the very, very slow kick beater for Skimbo. And what that is, Gibbs, that's an ability chemistry on the kicker. Some guys don't pay for that, but he clearly does. That is a good investment at the end of games. Well, potentially. Well, let's just talk about, you know, the giant elephant in the room at this point, right? All the the higher seeds at this point, somewhat struggling. I wouldn't say Skimbo's struggling this one. He's he, you know, still still early in this He's game. He's working for it. But Little Man doing a great job of preventing Skimbo to get in the end zone. One of the best red zone players in this entire tournament, Skimbo, holds him to a field goal. So phenomenal defense from Little Man. It was the run game early for Little Man. Watch this deep seam right there. Right there, a lot of vision right there. Looks like he's got... Nothing across the middle left, but he's going to have hopefully a strong oh, user. But man, Dorsett. I got to do something different. I got to do something different. I can't give him that. Giving him the run, little him man's that. willing to take it. So what he's what Skimbo's referring to there, he keeps pulling the safety out a little bit, and now the safety's not going to play it a ton in the run game there, but it does clear out some space, can give you a little extra yardage there. He does, he does check down here to a 4-4 four, four and, and try to stop the get Super aggressive on second and inches, and he locks up in the backfield. Third and three, huge that, D. That, that's big because it gets you out of that, what you feel pretty confident to convert on, on a third and inches, fourth and inches, like a sneak style. So I think it gets into a man's will uh, third down here. Take a look again, look at He brings the safety all the way over there, and look at all this running room right in there. Go, door set off the left side. Doesn't pick it up, and now it's a fourth and one first. Big decision of the game for Little Gotta Man. go, gotta go, gotta put the pressure on him. Skimbo can score points at will, and you have to put the pressure on him. If you could come down here, get another touchdown here, if you're Little Man, that puts a lot of pressure on Skimbo. Skimbo will get ball at halftime, so this can keep possession in Little Man's favor. It could also give him a short field. We'll see how it works out here on fourth and one. First game of our evening session. We had four games in the afternoon. 
A lot of run off this right edge right here. Follow that up. No safeties in the middle of the field. And he's going up the middle. And Dorsett's got one, and he's got more up towards midfield. Six carries so far. 53 yards for the legend. Take a look at this. There's no safeties in the middle of the field. And that's where it, not only he gets the first down, but that's where he could potentially break that run for a deeper run. Skimbo keeps sliding his safeties out wide to protect the perimeter of the field, taking them out of run support. Do you find that most Madden players get heated on defense? Little man on offense hasn't really been saying much. Defensively, he said he wanted a pick. D defense is where you build the momentum, right? Because these guys, everyone competing here, they score at such a high percentage uh, that when you get a defensive stop, it's so monumental to your success. Take a look at this again. You can see Skimbo brings safety all the way over there. Look at all this running area right there. He's just asking to get the run against with Dorsett. User in the middle of the defense, gonna have to potentially help stop the run. There it is again. There's a hit. That works though. Now are you seeing any other EMB tendencies? I know drag ran some trips tight end with some motions, this nothing really, this is just all run game? Th this, I mean, I think he's just taking what, what Skimbo's giving him at this point. I mean, he does have this tight flex that he wants to run, but he has his own unique scheme. He's also got Donovan McNabb, the gunslinger at quarterback here. Salary cap ranked. Little man. Wasting clock. I like it. Good D, Skimbo. Joey Bosa can't grab the pick. Third and eight coming up. Yeah, good pressure right there. Skimbo, or, uh, little man didn't give himself any underneath options. That was the result of that play. Pressure here and here. Minute and a half to go. Play action, gets picked up, goes to the sideline, and Landon wow. Collins puts it down. Skimbo using the eyes emoji on that one right there. Non-verbal non communication. And that's just, a, that's just a bad read right there. I mean, he, he knows that he made that mistake right there. He can see he's shaking his head. He understands he's giving Skimbo a big chance now. Buck 24, two timeouts in his back pocket. He's holding it together right now, but a couple plays for Skimbo. Could bust this thing open. Remember, he gets ball at the half. Little man could get frustrated if he gives up some plays. Let's also remember Skimbo with that Goskowski focus kicker. 59 yards is not too far out of his wheelhouse. Screaming pressure off the right side. He wants it. EMB fairly quiet in the front row. But supporting their guy, Little Man. 11 of 15 for Skimbo. 70 yards. Oh, he wants Moss. He's got an Sailed overthrow it. on the sail. Sailed it. I mean, right there, you get that cover, too. That What that works here is you drive one safety deep here, then it opens up with a longer route down that right sideline. You can see that nitrate lane. He doesn't get the leverage downfield. Just sailed that ball. Had the dot. Skimbo's going to look back over here again, that right sideline. Now we're seeing a timeout. Third and ten, crucial timing. One minute, Skimbo gets ball. Not quite in range, right on the edge. Right on the edge of range. I think that's what he's breaking down right now. I think he, I think he sees 59-yarder. You know, he could throw it for the first down, or he could get himself into a manageable fourth down and then have the option to kick a field goal. That's what I think he wants to do here. Watch over here, Thomas. Pressure, flat, will the hit stop him short indeed. Jalen Ramsey this is tough. This is a tough makes spot it right a here. fourth and one, and Little Man takes a timeout, puts the pressure on Skim. Yeah, and when you when you do the math and add this up here, you're looking at a 50-yard field goal. He, he, he can certainly make that, but, you know, he's looking for the lead at this spot. You can't run, I mean, the sneak there defeated, right? We talk about this quite a bit, and what we say there is you run the sneak, if your opponent shows it set up for it, you can't run it. And he wisely takes a timeout, kicks a field goal. Skimbo going with the timeout there after coming out in a play. That's a smart online tactic for those of, those of you guys new to Madden. If you're either going to be at the end of a quarter, if you're going to be at the end of the two-minute warning, if you have a timeout, come out in something. Great call. It's See what you great can point. do. Phenomenal point. And then if you don't oh, like it, man. you don't have to snap it. Just right. take the timeout or let the clock run out right. and, and get your strategy. That's a, I mean, that's exactly what we saw him do there. He comes out, he sees him. that he's in quarterback sneak. You know, right, if he if he comes out and he's lackadaisical in his setup and doesn't get QB, D, uh, uh, QB sneak D up, he's just going to snap it. But takes a timeout, goes for the field goal. Says Please he needed me. 
Ricky to fall forward. Here he's begging little man to swerve him. Usually not something you hear. A dot to Johnson, who almost breaks it all the way, but he does get Smart out of bounds. Time, keep throwing man. it. Keep throwing it. Keep throwing it. Skimbo wants him to keep throwing it. That's what little man meant to do on his interception there. Here it is again. Take a look. Skimbo brings his safety over here, right over there. It's a terrible line by me, but I'll work on that. Ooh, big hit. Did not get out. Little Man takes his last time out. Can't be excited about that. And here's the difference, though. Now, Jordan Gay kicker for, for Little Man, 50-yarder. That's, that's the shaky territory, so he needs a couple more for field goal range. A lot of running, running room in the middle. Still right here. Take a look. You want to run off this edge right there. So much running room right there. you got to be very careful if you're Skimbo. I like that. Get the linebackers in there. Play action, pressure's picked up underneath. Big hit, Landon Collins already got one turnover today. Cannot force the fumble, a little bit. Back on the ball, holding down that Y button here on the Xbox One S to get back to the line of scrimmage, 20 seconds. No timeouts for, for little man. He's gotta go downfield, cannot take a sack, but the ball comes out. Yeah, and right there, that would have been a critical error. Not only would that have knocked him out of field goal range, but the clock would have ticked away. He would most likely have to try and kick a field goal at that point. Critical mistake. Now in third and three, you got to be very careful here. Again, no sack. I actually really love a, a, a shot deep to the end zone, back of the end zone here. Third and three. Gets the Take ball sack, out. Man. Wanted the sack for Skimbo. He's going to settle for three. Pressure off this left edge, untouched. You can see it gets after the quarterback. Skimbo wants the sack, so the, the clock kick ticks away. Little man with the silver, 65 overall. Jordan Gay looks like he will punch this through. Can Skimbo make another special teams play here? Didn't get full power, though. And knocks it through. 10 6, 10 seconds to go. Will he squip? This is, oh, this is the return territory. Skimbo says there's no one better at the returns than him. Skim has had Ricky a Williams. whole bunch of returns. Puts his half back at kick return. Doesn't get it. And he's probably going to take one shot here to the end zone. We'll see if Little Man goes with the quarters three deep. Skim's been labbing with Volterax. So you wonder if they've been <laughs> swerving together. A little swerve on swerve out action here. I think your guy you, you worry about is Randy Moss off this sideline here. So I'm practice some of these before the game, actually. A little mud rush. What he can do. Pressure's double team. He's going deep downfield. He's got three guys, and uh -oh. it's picked off, but unable to be returned. Ten to six at the half. Little man out of Tom's River, New Jersey, the veteran in the community. With a great opening drive, a solid lead in the game, he's got a 10-6 lead. I mean, it, it really comes down to a couple of those red zone possessions, right? Skimbo gets in there. He had that little vertical uh, pattern out, out wide to Moss. Moss catches it, but then doesn't hold on to it when he hits the ground. So that's a, a, a bad break for him there. He's been held to two field goals now. I mean, that is the formula. That's how you're going to win this game if you're a little man. He's got to feel great about that first half. Now, we just got into single elimination here. Is, skim is single elimination bad for Skimbo? I don't think it's bad. I think that it gives people more of a scout, right? They, they can prepare for him, really kind of sell out with their game planning and their preparation, whereas when you play in group stage, you have to worry about playing racket. So, I mean, let's remember, this is a, a $10,000 game. This is for $10,000 that little man is trying to win here. Obviously, keep advancing, but it's difficult for Skimbo when we get into these single elimination games. Well, he appears prepared, and we got two other guys that are ready with us, Dave and Rico. Thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate it. Rico, ball control, obviously a big deal in this first half. What does Little Man need to do to maintain what he's been doing so far? He needs to do exactly what he's been doing. <laughs> he has the Skimbo blueprint. He's playing great on both sides of the ball, dictating the pace of this game. You got to tip your hat to him. If you didn't going into this, you would think Little Man was the number one seed. Yeah, Little Man is playing out of his shoes right now. Let's take a look at these highlights from the uh, the first half here to see exactly what he was doing. We got a touchdown here from Little Man. A nice corner route, like Gibbs pointed out during our broadcast. Perfect placement on the throw, down and away. We've got Tom Bra or excuse me, Rogers rolling right. Skimbo could not get the ball out. And we've got a big pick here by Skimbo to try and get some of that momentum going his way. He capitalized with three. That leaves us at 7-6. Uh, 
Little man able to add one more field goal, 10-6 now at the half. Now, we've had great games all day. We're in the middle of another great game. This is another big day for Madden. We had the release date of Madden 18 come out, Rico. And let's take a look at what EA has in store for us next year. father used to say, when the world knocks you down, you get back up again. Play it first on Xbox One with EA Access. Well, there it is, Rico. Madden 18. Absolutely flawless. My only question is, are my Jets going to be the best team on the game again? <laughs> I highly doubt that. I'm going to go with never, as a matter of fact. But to get an opinion of two other guys who, who we value, I would say, uh, when it comes to this type of stuff, Farrell's Gibbs, I know you guys are fired up about 18. What would you see there? I mean, the most thing no I'm way the most the fired up about <laughs> is just the fact that I get one more year to dominate S. Gibbs in Madden. It's been just an incredible run that Fake I have against him. You don't beat me. Consistently dominating competition. You don't. Because you beat yourself, Dave. Back to you. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, Farrells, for getting us out of that. Really nicely done. want to remind everybody back at home that championship packs are now available. Each pack contains a championship player from a winning EA Major roster. Collect these championship players to earn one of three 99 overall champions players designed by EA Major winners. Now, this is the first game of our evening edition here, but we have another great matchup, Rico. Really quick, coming up here, Spot Me and Strafen. That's going to be an absolute slugfest. Both of these guys are absolute tacticians on both sides of the ball. I cannot wait, but for right now, we have Drea. She's on the sidelines with Skimbo. Thanks so much, Dave. Skim, you said this is the most important game of your career, and you also, fans around are saying that it's championship or bust. How do you think you've played so far with so much on the line? I th honestly thought I played pretty good. Um, Randy Moss dropped like a wide open touchdown. I got hit from behind. It was kind of flu. Um, he's just settled, uh, making me for three, and I've given up ten. You've watched film of Little Man over 50 times. What's the number one biggest adjustment, the crunch time adjustment to get you through in the second half? I think if I stop the run, it's over. Um, that's just how I feel right now. He's uh, getting all his yards not in the air, so all running. All right, well, best of luck in the second half. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Zach and Gibbs. Gibbs, one burning question for you. Do you think they have the defensive adjustments to stop the run? I do. I keep seeing him pull the safeties out, and no doubt he's, you know, he's doing that for a reason. Uh, I think he'll sure that up. I think he made a great point in, in saying that he dropped a touchdown. He, he did. Moss was wide open, uh, especially the way he runs that. I, I have no issues with Skimbo heading in the second half. I, I would confirm with and agree with what he said. He did play a great first half. He didn't get the touchdowns he needed. I think he'll be fine in the second half. And if you're a little man, you got to just keep playing that same way, kid, right? I mean, that's, that was a great, perfect first half for a little man. Huge half of football coming up. Skimbo gets the ball first. And it's been a little strange that he hasn't got that red zone touchdown yet because he did lead the entire event in pass touchdowns 11 early. I mean, that's a lot. That's a lot of touchdowns. He, he starts with the rock right here to start this second half. Crucial field goal before the half for Little Man. He did have that one turnover, which he'll have to correct. But he's back on defense facing Skimbo, who's going Sailed deep it. downtown. And he wow. sailed. That's tough. I mean, that's okay. Let's count out the uh, the sale factors here right now. Good reference, AWOL Nation, by the way. Great track. It's, it's Great well, track. A song gets you going. But uh, again, right, take a look. Second overthrow. Anytime Jimmy Graham hangs on. Jalen Ramsey, Night Train Lane are the corners on the outside for Little Man. They've laid some big hits early in this one. But so far, the ball has not been jarred loose. Yeah, and if you're watching at home, new to the game, I'm sure you're watching. Well, he keeps throwing the flat. That's on purpose. He's throwing the short flat to try and open up a deeper route behind it. Pressure is picked up. Graham. Let's see where he got spotted. He did indeed pick up the first down. Yeah, and the other thing you're going to see there, every time he throws that short flat, he's not only just throwing the short flat. Most times he'll be actually giving a pass lead up. 
Now, like this, this sets up a deeper pass. Watch for Ross potentially down that left sideline again. Rogers has been a little inconsistent so far. He's going deep for it one more time, and he hits the rack catch, but goes out of bounds. He's all the way down to 13 and hyped up. You see right there, I mean, that's the call, right? Short pass, short pass, short pass, and then you set up the deep pass behind it. I believe Ramsey was matched up man-to-man -man there, but out of position with some of that speed from Moss and big play just like that in the red zone. Watch for Moss over here. You got to look over here. This is where Skimbo's eyes are, over on that right side of the field. Let's see, will it be the verticals? Will it be the corner? We'll decide at the snap. Four seconds on the clock here. Rogers looking deep to the corner, and Randy Moss catches it and Too falls easy. into the end zone. Too easy. One stop. I mean, oh. One stop. It's just too easy. I mean, and this is why he's the number one player in the world. You're able to completely understand his offense. Here it is one more time. Moss motioned out, one on one, stop, six foot four man. Moss, and not even Nitrate Lane could beat there, but right? You can completely understand where he's going to go with the rock on an every down or every play basis. Doesn't mean you can stop it. The execution is flawless, and that is that's the, the drive to start the second half here, where it just gives you the confidence. Yes, he's going to be fine. He gets that red zone touchdown. And not like that. He's playing with a lead. Easy, he's asking Dion. for that one stop. Easy, 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 easy. Special teams. They're out to the stop 29. The run. Just stop the run. Skimbo wants to stop the run. We'll have to see if he can do it here, little man. I, I love, by the way, when he starts chirping and he starts hey. talking about the plays. It, it, it just dives into the mind of what's going on in his head. The Can't world's best player. Come on inside. He's mic'd up. He's given up 55 yards on the ground in the first half. But his opponent won't run because he's not giving him that look. Yeah, and little man was looking deep downfield to a streaking receiver on a post. Didn't have enough time in the pocket to deliver it. Watch for a swerve here. You see Skimbo moves the safeties inside. That's going to help him protect against the swerve. Moss, Rice. Running room right here. All that running room right there. McNabb, six seconds. Five. Pass deep in the forced. seam. Not going to hang on there. Yeah, he forced that one. Skimbo what? ran right to it. Very lucky on that one, didn't get an interception. Oh, me. It's throwing directly at Michael Skimbo. Third and ten. Eubanks, the user. He's stuck on his defensive lineman. Thank you. But he throws Thank short you. across the middle. That. that was a big potential play there for Little Man. Anytime you can get your opponent stuck on the defensive lineman What's before the that, snap, man? the middle could be open for you, but he couldn't make a play. Fight! And I know, Gibbs, as a D-line user yourself, no oh, yeah. you know what I'm talking about. Fourth and nine. Play of the game, little man. Great user. By the the Let's scene. go! Good D, Doc is boss, baby! Drops go, the dog. ball. There you see it. Right on the midfield marker, drops the pass. L Little Man had two options on that. He had the, the seam that he threw to and he had the corner. Skimbo took away the corner, forced the throw into coverage. Great user play by Skimbo. Smith, catch across the middle for Skimbo. Takes up nine yards. Smith. There we go, you flip, baby. And this is where Skimbo can really turn it on, turn the pressure on. Little Man was in control of the game and just like that, a few plays later, a few drives later, he could be down 10. Kevin Smith. Clerks out here, making nine-yard gains for Skimbo. Ricky Williams, third and two, not fighting right, quite as hard. Check this route combo right here, Dubby. Chirping to Dubby about the route combos. Drag. Rogers looks it, easy in route. Randy I know you Moss. like that route combo. You know you like that route combo. I like it. I don't think Joe plays I need it. you, Randy. I really need you a lot right here. He is going to throw the ball to Randy like Moss. Lie. News flash. Flag Randy Moss for us. He's in Where cover is four, he too. At? Come on, man. Randy Moss right here. He's the big time receiver. He's going to throw him I out think, wide. Get up to him high. He's manned up. Rolling, rolling. Rogers. Can he slide? He does. Let's listen in here. Skimbo has Trust been chirping process? it up. Trust the process right here. The JBL way, trust the process. Drink the juice. You can be in the crew. You also have to be good at Madden. 
I got, my entry got denied. Watch the quick motion inside the corner of Chad Johnson. Come on, bro. Double coverage. I can't trust the process. And here's Dubby looking on. You can see Joke there as well with Los. And they're just hashtag trusting the process. Well, there's potential that Los and Skimba would play. Remember, we go down to eight at the end of tonight. We'll have a bracket reveal live for you. It's going to be high seed, low seed. Watch Grant here with Moskett's double team. Watch Grant one on one inside. Nope. He's going to try and scramble. Fumble. Come on, man. Good thing. Good thing. Good thing. Starting Good to get thing. hyped up, little man. Good thing. Good thing. Third, third field goal. I need seven there, man. Ah. Mouth of a sailor. <laughs> Good deal, man. We got the pirate coming up next, and we got a sailor playing we, right now. We do have the pirate coming up. What are the odds? And now, hey, third, the stick, third the field goal for Skimbo. Every time you kick a field goal, you're one more possession going away, going home. Four points closer to going home. 16-10, Skimbo, the number one seed. Turning it up in the second half, but still not cashing in fully on touchdowns. Just one touchdown, three field goals. He does have a couple turnovers, one on downs, one on an interception from Little Man, who was running well early, but has gone away. The pressure by Skimbo. Pressure, throw away, and we've got a flag down on the field. Good heat off that right edge. No answer to pick it up. That forces the, the throw away. Loss of downs, plus a 10-yard loss there. The competitor, Skimbo, has been the most consistent player this year. You can go over to ESPN Esports, read an article on him right now Swerve. about... Swerve! You ain't swerving me! I play with Vol, Vol! I love you, dog! Good! Volt out here in the crowd, Volt Army in the chat, and you got Skimbo defending the attempted swerve with Brian Dawkins. And, and Skimbo guy. talking with me before the game, this was well before this is this morning, we were actually sitting down watching a couple of the games, Dubby versus Los game, and he was going over with me, with me about how he was going to stop that swerve to that left slot to Little Man. He was reviewing game tape, and this was even a few days ago as well, moving that safety inside. So a lot of that positioning he's been doing with the safeties is anticipating a swerve from Little Man. And you can see when Little Man goes to the swerve, that adjustment, that preparation pays off in a big way. So shout out to Skimbo and, hey, lab partner Volderex for helping them get ready for that. Preparation, very critical. Adjustments even more critical. He's adjusted to stop the run. He's prepared to stop the swerve. He now needs a field goal to make it a two-score game, but a touchdown would really make it tough on I'm Little Man. I'm going for a touchdown right here, Little Man. I'm going for a touchdown right here. I don't care. The Babe Ruth of Madden. The Bambino. The Scambino. Here you go. Let's try and call out where we go. You got Moss on the deep side. It's got to be Moss down the sideline because we'll... Oh. oh. Well, it's well, the like Skimbo. <laughs> Going to be a big, bad Skimbo tonight. I'll tell you what, the scramble with Rodgers when you Good call day. your shot, that's not the that's not the play that's going to get it done. you got to love the roll away. The roll away from traffic as they put up the force. It's time. The fourth quarter is here in the first down, game you know, a of field our goal, evening session. A, and a field goal here is still very big for Skimbo. Puts him up two scores. Even though he's been held to three field goals already, even though a fourth field goal would still be huge for him. Randy Moss been targeted eight times today. He's only caught three, but he does have the one score for Skimbo, who throws to Thomas to the outside, and it is dropped. Usually a tough throw Same right there. Same defense, it's a touchdown, I promise you that. When you throw that corner pattern against a flat over there, very I difficult. I just need a little bit in. of time, come on. Warning his opponent not to call oh, the same defense. just a little defense. bit of time, man. Looks like he's gonna get some time here. Looks like he's gonna try and nope. beat. Pressure off that right edge. Bring the safety down. I'm not throwing unless you bring the safety down. It's gonna give him time to bring his safety down. What a gentleman. He's going to take a penalty, like an absolute savage. 
I don't know if I've ever seen someone just deliberately take a penalty there. Maybe because he was going for his setup there. Bring he the he wants down. the safety down. A lot of times these players will bring that safety down to make the blitz, that nickel blitz off that edge more oh, effective. And he brought him down. He brings him down. He's going to want to go Moss down that right sideline. Tell side me line. he didn't just fall for the trap. He wants Moss down that right sideline. Eyes over here. Pressure. Doesn't get the time, has to get rid of it. Not enough separation. And now makes it a little bit of a longer field goal. But fortunately, he's invested heavily in a great kicker. Yeah, I mean, he's got Goskowski, he's, he's his kicker. He can make this 50 yarder in his sleep. But more importantly, he gets the field goal. Oh, as long as it's not scores. an extra point, am I right? As long as it's not an extra point. Uh, yeah. You little, gotta find uh, ways to throw the shade in there, even for the five times Super Bowl champions. I mean, we're just gonna put a Patriot on the cover oh, every oh, year man, for the rest of the on. years. That's pretty much, yeah, I'm that's gonna, fine. You know, I'm gonna be a little salty. You should be salty. We got Odell Beckham on it, the cover. He's a, it was cool. That was cool for a while. One hand catch City. No swerve, no swerve, no swerve. Come on. Brady on the cover. QB sneaks. I bet QB sneaks will be very good next year. I would I would put that on there, yeah. Tom Terrific, the GOAT, the GOAT QB sneak guy. Skimbo dialing up pressure off this edge. You know, one thing that I, I want to call out about Skimbo's defense here, he wants you to throw the ball to the flat. He has Landon Collins off one edge over here on the right side. This is Landon Collins right on the side there. Whenever you throw the ball on that side, you have to watch for a hit stick fumble. Drop the ball across the middle. That's Mike Evans. Close to it, can't haul it in it, from the safety position. And we're beginning to see the wheels fall off the bus right now for Little Man in this one. Skimbo really clamping down on both sides of the ball. Third and four Bro, has the drag, him. decides to go every play. Mike Six. Evans out of position. How big is this Six guy? Six foot five, Mike Evans. You heard Skimbo say he spotlighted Chad Johnson every play. What a spotlight is, it tells your defender, the safety in that position, to pay attention to a specific receiver on the play. It won't completely lock down the receiver, but it gives them a little extra boost in terms of their coverage when the, that receiver runs a route in their area of the field. A beautiful adjustment, not something a lot of people use, only the best players in the world use it. Or the worst players. <laughs> Uh-oh. Ricky Williams up the middle, smooth running, untouched, and that's too easy. How about you, that run right yeah, there right. for Michael Skimbo, right. an emphatic run for the touchdown. Now he's up 15. You go for two here, you can make it three possession, or you go for the extra point and you make it two score, two touchdowns and two extra points. Fortunately for Little Good Man, call, Reggie. doesn't have the offense. Skimbo shouting out Boogs, who won his game in last second fashion in the first session. Here's the run inside, untouched. No answer, Ricky Williams, and Little Man, all he can do is shake his head in disappointment. It's Dolphin Ricky Williams, not St. Ricky Williams. You've come this far if you're a little man. Crawl all the way back here. You still have an opportunity. You got all three of your timeouts. You're still in this game. You're yes. two scores. It's, it's going to be tough. But you got to uh -oh. get. Skimbo's changing his D up. He's getting more aggressive with his pass D. Landon Collins. <laughs> First down. Got to be very careful about throwing Landon Collins away. All that hit power over there. You played Skimbo in tennis yet? I have not. He's, he claims he's fantastic. It's anything like this. I bet he's got a great offense, decent defense. Tries to score as many points as possible. First down. Four minutes here. A lot of time. Second and inches, rather. We'll see. Tail two halves, right? I mean, that, I mean, that, you really think about the way this one's shaken up. Swerve City. Doesn't it, have it. it, it I'm just starting to. Bolt's just got a smile on his face. <laughs> Bolt is back row here. Got to be happy about seeing his buddy Skimbo here. But it comes down to the tail two halves here, right? You, you saw how well Little Man played in that first half. Really, it controlled the game. Skimbo, not as much. Right? He had the, the two field goals get stopped in the red zone. You know, and then that halftime interview with Dre, you heard him say, I, I'll be fine. I got a score in the red zone. And, and when you start looking now at the second half, he's getting everything he said done, right? He scores in the red zone. He's getting those stops. He's really got Little Man in an absolute box right now. Big hit. The more and more you play, do you realize how long a game of Madden is? He, he wasn't panicked at all at halftime. I was kind of surprised he was so calm, but he has played so many games this season. 
Yeah, well, when, when, when certain things don't go your way, for example, when you drop that touch on the Moss, the way you think of it as like a competitive player is you all, you don't count it as a touchdown, obviously, but in the back of your mind, you're like, okay, I made the right read. He just dropped it. That's the name of the game. That's what happens. Uh, so he still felt very confident with his chances to win this game. Dot for Little Man. Complete inbounds down to the 18. He's shaking his head. He's not loud, but does he look defeated? No, he's he's locked in. He's, he's locked. Focused. He's All locked right. in and he's focused. He knows what he needs to get done here. No rushing on the play. Good user by skin. Good oh user by skin. Oh my goodness, Good and that user. is a pick for you, base. I mean, just great play right now by Skimbo at all phases of the game. Take a look at this. You're gonna get a playmaker upfield to the halfback. Skim stays underneath it and just absolutely gets pick city. And he is feeling it now, looking great in terms of advancing to the next round. Dropping everybody into coverage. A run there would have been devastating. Five turnovers for Little Man. That is unbelievable. You don't After come the into the game. Half, too. Uh, right, I mean, up-tempo defense from Skimbo, making plays in the red zone, outside of the red zone. Now we might get some milk and cookies time. Better get this playoff. 2.45. Handoff with one second to go. Uh -oh. Ricky Williams now wow. is fighting, he's breaking tackles, and he Wisely. lays down inbounds after getting the first down. That's good management by Skim. Well, well okay, so he, the reason, okay, one broken arm, the process, broken huh? tackle here, you can see it here. Breaks one tackle, stiff arm to the face, right, bang, right there. And then you go down because you're tired. Your halfback's tired. You don't want to take a fumble in that spot. You are Smart. just milking this thing out. Does it again, he lays down, he knows my main objective here, just make him, Little Man, use two timeouts here. You can punt the ball away. He, little Man has so much work to do in this one. Two touchdowns and two two-point conversions. Very difficult to come back now. He's going to have to start using those timeouts now that we're here. In the two-minute warning of our fifth match of the day. First of the evening session, Skimbo against Little Man. More big games coming up. The two at the end of the day, I know people are really excited about. For good reason. Problem. Mo, Kia Hollywood. But even the next game is going to be. Doug versus Strafen, aka Doug versus Spot Me Please. The amount of plays those guys are going <laughs> to run, the points that can be scored in that match. The most unique play calls in the history of the game of Madden. Will be incredible. Third and one, Skim tossing it out to the right. Can Little Man haul him down? It. No, he just gives himself up. No, I love him it. Take his last time out. I mean, smart. Little That's Man smart. hasn't scored in in ages. It, avoid, avoid a hit stick fumble, right? Make him waste his timeouts. Make an onside kick, beat yep, you. Correct. He's playing the odds at this point, right? Make a two-point conversion, beat you. The worst thing there, throw a pick. Uh, a fumble, you have a tendency to, if you do fumble there, right, you could get, it could get picked up, scooped, and scored, right? And the worst thing for a Skimbo at this point is a quick touchdown. That's the worst thing that could happen to him at this point is a quick score. You know who else was down 16 in the fourth quarter well, of each game? I'll tell you who, but at first, got to watch for a deep post over the middle of the field. We saw this look last time from Little Man. He almost had it. He didn't have time in the pocket, though. Can he get the time he needs? No. He cannot. Alexander screams in. Yeah, he was going for that deep post again, but Skimbo doesn't give him the time in the pocket. Looks for another swerve now. He's probably going to go inside here to Moss. Minute 30 ticking down here. Little man, single elimination, $10,000 on the line in just this game. Lose. Got to go up tempo. You go. Yeah, you got to take a shot now, right? You, we're playing against the clock at this point. You, you got to take a shot deep. Now's the time to pull a swerve. Underneath, got to flat. Tough. Can't get out, has to take his last time out, and now. It's okay to take that time out there, though, right? Because you can't stop the clock anyway, so you, you have to use it there. Good time for that time out. Moss goes out to the right, next to Ocho Cinco and Jerry Rice. Let's get screamed at. And he throws into double coverage and gets one. He's not happy. I've had. I've, but hey, it counts. He works it over Landon Collins. McNabb in traffic. Tip oh boy. drill. Ball is out. 
and right now forcing the issue, Skimbo just absolutely screaming at Little Man from both sides of the field. All this play action allowing those blitzes to get in off the edge. What point are you going to throw the Moss down the middle of the field here? Goes the short flat. Can he get out of bounds? No. No, it's going to keep on moving. 30 seconds to 30 yard line with just about 39 shot. seconds here. Got to go to the When the here. snap is hit. Got it. Stays, Stays in bounds. bounds. Critical error. A, a, a critical error. You, you, you got to get out of bounds there. The clock now ticking away. You, you have to take a shot to the end zone. 16 points. Needs a touchdown and the two point conversion. He there gets the score. All right. And now we've got it. So you're saying there's a chance. One in a million. Kids. All right, here we go. Okay, it starts with the two point conversion play. A lot of things can run through your mind. Do I go quarterback sneak, halfback toss combo? No timeouts to change my play. No, he's going to come out in a single back formation. Watch Moss here. Or Cumberland over there. He goes or up Moss. the middle and Dorsett sneaks it through and we're Woo. onside kick away. Here we go. This is why you play the game. game. Quick inside run, but now take a look here. Moss animates, gets big. Now, one time for the boys. For the boys. It's That'll scooped it. by Da 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 Marius. Grabs it. Don't goes do that. forward. <laughs> you always tell me not to on. sing. And there you go. But that's going to do it for Skimbo on this one. Listen, just the, the tale of two halves. It, it just, what a great second half by Skimbo. He comes out, executes flawlessly, didn't play Yo. his best half in the good first half of John Madden hey, football. Good defense, by the way, too. Now I got a lot of respect for you, know that, right? And just unbelievable way, way he bounced back in that second half. Drea asked him the question. You know what happened in that first half? He calmly says, listen, I just didn't get, I dropped a touchdown in the red zone to Moss. I mean, that was really the story of it for him, right? He comes back, he executes, he scores in the red zone, he forces four interceptions with, from Little Man in that second half. That was a dominating half of football from Michael Skimbo. All right, let's go down to Dre to see what changed in the second half for Skimbo. Absolutely. Well, Zach just said it right there, and I was just talking to you about it off camera. You kicked it into another gear, I think. Zach feels that way. Gibbs, in all three phases. What, what changed? Uh, not a lot, like I was saying. Um, <laughs> just turned in those threes and the sevens and got those stops I thought I should have had, and I stopped the run. I mean, what I said at halftime is kind of just what happened in the mm -hmm. second half. Well, you just gave little man a handshake and you told him that you really respected him. Expand on that and what he brings to Madden and the community as a fierce competitor. Little man's been a top player for years. Like, I know this is just starting for the last two years, but if like, kind of like, you know, Lois felt disrespected. But if you like look these guys up, these guys are really good Madden players and they're just finally getting the respect they deserve. Well, your fans said it, it's championship or bust. I know you feel the same way as well. What's your message to the Madden community and all the Skimbo fans out there? There's a lot of them rooting for you on pins and needles. Uh, that sounds corny, but it's just one game at a time. <laughs> That's all I'm looking at. I got low snacks. I'm about to go watch every game he's played and just prepare for him. No doubt. Well, best of luck. Thank you. All right, let's send it to Dave and Rico. Thank you.